you've watched our previous episodes regarding Phantom Voters and Clang, today we have YB Charles San Diego to update us on the latest case. Let us welcome YB Charles. Well, thank you very much and thanks for this kind invitation. Okay, can you uh, let us briefly tell our audience that um, what are the progress with the cases? I remember that in the, in the last shoot, you mentioned that you are going to bring the, the case to court if SPR is not going to remove those phantom voters from the electoral roll. Yeah, since the last, last time we spoke, mm. uh, there have been two major developments that have taken place in Klein. The first is uh, we have gone to court, asking the courts to compel the Elections Commission to remove the names and also to explain to us how uh, so many people can be registered in one area. The point was we went to court to demand uh, immediate response from the Elections Commission mm -hmm. on the five sets of issues that we had raised. The first is that uh, 3,000 over names have been removed from the database and these were voters that were registered in 2008 or their names appeared uh, in the electoral roll in 2008. Number two, uh, we had about 2,000 names uh, that have been transferred out of Clang. Uh, 1,000 within Slango and 1,000 outside of Slango. Third, we have a case whereby uh, uh, a Tulupulai voter uh, was registered without her knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, and interestingly, that she was registered uh, in a Dun that doesn't exist. It's called the Dun Shah Alam, uh, and also a parliamentary constituency that doesn't exist called the Butterworth Parliament Constituency. H how can that happen? I mean, this is. Okay. Yeah. You're, you're absolutely right. I, I'm as baffled as you are. Mm -hmm. And that is why we asked SPR to explain. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have a house where you have a truly one Malaysian home, where we have uh, uh, Chinese, Indian and Malays, largely Malays, staying in a Chinese home. Is it the 994 Jalapapan case? 994 okay. And we also uh, had another issue whereby there was uh, a constituency uh, delineation that mm -hmm. took place. Uh, and this is actually against the constitution because the constitution requires that the SPR or Elections Commission uh, go to Parliament first and get parliamentary approval before a delineation exercise can, can be undertaken. So all of these five issues we have returned on December 25th, uh, 24th mm -hmm. uh, to SPR uh, asking for an explanation. And we waited for two months and uh, you know there was already talk about elections coming soon and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. So in the best interest of the people of Klang, uh, we went to court. Mm -hmm. Uh, the court heard our, our case and together with the government, what the government had to say, but unfortunately for us, uh, justice was not given to us. You are watching My Durian TV.